All right, last break time. I think that there is significance in how the castle above the skies was kind of portrayed with the timeline. Because if Biko exists, and Echidna exists, and Juice as a cult member exists, I don't think that's simply 100 years ago. No, no, no. 100 years ago, we know that Juice was there with Fortuna. But I think this is spanning pre-Calamity, implying like back then, the witch cult still existed. With the Witch of Envy at that time, who didn't exist yet? Well, the Witch of Envy is Satala, but they're separate personality. And I was theorizing how, due to the incompatibility of the Witch Factor, who knows when she took that in shit either, right? I, I don't know, but I think that last break time, it definitely hints that like, yes, the church was there pre-Calamity, and perhaps the hidden library shit with Biko's library. Is it all Juice's books that he gifted her? I don't know, but let's see the break time. ゼロから始めるブレイクタイム。夫に聞き。ゴーフィル。ああ。The feel like someone as stupid as him talking about just super Emilia to Roswell is a liability because he probably leaked some shit that Roswell probably wanted and he has no idea. マジかよ。ああ。それはそれでディスコミュニケーション極まってんな。いや、わかるけど、わかるけども、恋方切ってだけでそんな嫌ってやっちゃう。浮かばれねえよ。I never thought of it like that. Cuz like Ram Garfield loves it. But Ram's devotion is all through Roswell. Rival in love. Huh. Never thought about how Garfield hates Roswell because of that, that, that reason either. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. What? I hate him because dot dot dot. Even in breakdown, Tape is not gonna give us the actual fucking answers. Alright, fuck off. I'm sick of this show. I, I'm low-key getting sick of this fucking show. With how much fucking quote-unquote mysteries there are. Just riddled with like 30 layers of assumptions. And then the author also gaslighting the audience by people saying, no, he lies in the Q&As. Nothing. Everything is just fucking fan fiction in this fucking story, bro. おまけに敵の内では用意周到と。今から逃げます。うん。残念だったな。今の俺たちのパーティーの方針は命を大事に。え、he <笑> お前があいつと取引して正義の解放に反対してるとかなら話は単純だったんだが。してんねえよ、取引なんぜ。俺様、俺様の意思で対象に噛みついてんだ。だよな。オッケー。Thank they suffer particularly lucky? Are they unlucky? Well, they suffer a lot, but like, maybe. Also, I'm completely confused on what they're even fucking talking about right now. They're straight up just talking about in such ambiguity of like going against Roswell. I have no idea what the fuck is even going to be the battle. He, everything is so ambiguous. And the promise of why the sanctuary was even made, that's still, that shit is still fucking secret. だよな。ガフィールの自己申告を信じると状況が返京白有利に固まってたのは何もかも返京白の強運のな。Lock my ass. He just reading off the fucking script. それはだってことになりますね。その方がおっかねえな。強運とか俺たちに一番足りないステータスじゃねえか。そう。Oh so... great. More monkeys in chat fucking arguing about whether or not web novel is canon. Like, this shit is still going on over and over. Both sides. Web novel is canon! No, light novel is only canon. No, both are canon. No, no, no. Web novel is draft. No, web novel is just fan fiction. 
I fucking hate this community. The more I get more into ReZero, I, the more I realize how much I fucking hate this show to the audience that just fucking like... We're basically at the 0.0001% of the hardcore audience right now. This happens with any like sweaty show that we delve more and more into. In the beginning, it's all, it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games, we're just enjoying it. But due to the complexities and the nature of the show, these super sweaty fucking retards show up out of nowhere who also has reading comprehension of a fucking ape and they all start fighting against each other and gaslight on what it's real, what's not. And I'm like, brother, let's just fucking watch Arifura to turn our brains off and just fucking watch Tio make anal jokes. Isn't that just much more fun time? <laughs> That was such a big insult. Wow, you understand Japanese. Good job, Garfield. I know they're not speaking Japanese really, right? Because at the end of the day, they're speaking some Isekai language. That shit was still kind of ambiguous, right? Subaru didn't know how to fucking like write the alphabets of this place. But from the beginning, he could speak. And everyone is presumably just speaking fluent Japanese, but we're hearing Japanese, but they're speaking an isekai language. But I wonder if that's like a, a random pl plot hole that doesn't need to be nitpicked, or if it's like a huge deal of like, oh, Subaru really is the reincarnation of somebody that used to live in this world. That's why he can fucking speak so fluently, but he doesn't know fucking alphabets. I don't know. <laughs> We're cooked. How fucking confident this break time is. They've already given up, but they seem like... No, they haven't really given up. They're moving forward, but they're very aware of how cooked they are, so they're kind of joking around. Here we go. Nah, Ross wasn't expecting you. He put on the fucking makeup. He's ready for the appointment right now. And it is actually so nice how, like, Subaru is no longer alone and pretty much actually has friends. It feels like the boys, you know? A semblance of community and just like a gang that we can hang out together. あ、ポは取ってないけどね。ガフィル、今お前がいるのが心強いぜ。ああ。ええ。そういう意味で。しっかり期待してるぜ。なんて取って、俺ら二人は天下不滅の足手まといった。This <laughs> is like they're very aware. Both are so cheerful and oper like um optimistic at a brief glance on their body language, but what they're saying is like we are cooked. We have no luck. Oh boy, here we go. But this time, it's different. The boys are just coping together, and we can say all this depressing shit, which may seem sad, but, you know, again, there's like a semblance of community and friendship, and like, uh, I don't know, like a group of friends forming, so this is nice, nice to see. I, I, I'm just terrified that, like, the more we have things that we bond with, the closer we get to somebody, the more likely they're going to be sacrificed to show more pain and suffering for Natsuki Subaru, but not so for me.